So this is Callan. Callan's four years old. Four and a half. <gasps> almost four and three quarters. Tina. Which is very big in our house. And Callan likes to do all sorts of things. The noisier, the messier, the better. And the quieter and the cleaner, the worse. You got it. That's pretty <laughs> much true. Yes. That's pretty much Callan. When it came to Callan, I mean, I don't think we really realized how often people who are fighting cancer need blood. When his blood counts are abnormal, it affects what he's able to do. Just as a normal four-year-old who wants to run around, he can't, he can't get off the couch. Um, and it affects how he can be treated, if he can be treated, and um, to what extent he can be treated. So it's not only central in his life because it's the source of his cancer, but it is central to him receiving the treatment that he requires at this point. We have no idea who made the decision to donate that blood, to donate those platelets. Um, there are multiple strangers out there right now who are responsible for saving his life, and that has been on several occasions already. And we know there are many more occasions to come. But as far as donating, there is no risk, and it, there is only reward. And it is a few minutes that he is living proof. It is a life-saving, selfless act that um, mm -hmm. we, we can't say thank you enough for it. And two days after he received his most recent transfusion, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think he realized how sick he was. And he asked me, Mom, does everybody die when they run out of blood? And I said, no. We just have to make sure that there's always blood for you to get and it's not something you have to die from. And we want to make sure that nobody is ever in a situation where there's an unintended consequence because, or a bad outcome, because blood isn't available.